Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Vlogmas. I have woken up quite late, well, I say woken up. I've been up for about an hour and a half, nearly two hours. Um, not quite sure what I was doing, to be honest, because I haven't really done much. I've literally just sat down for my breakfast. Um, but I wanted to intro the vlog because today is going to be quite a busy one and I feel like the day is gonna go super quickly. So I just wanted a little bit of calm this morning before I start off the video. I am, I've kind of hinted as to what's happening today and I'm really excited for it, but I'm ever so slightly nervous and I'm really not sure why I'm so nervous. Well, actually I think I know why I'm so nervous. I'm basically doing the Cowdery 10K trail run this afternoon and I'm really looking forward to it. I run in Cowdery all the time. I know the route, like I know what I'm gonna get basically. It's nothing new. It's not like a route that I've not done before, um, but it's a trail run and it's in the evening. So I find runs in the evening a like definitely a different experience and it's good but a lot of the time I'm less focused on like how well I'm running and more on making sure I don't trip up and I know that sounds so silly but um yeah trail runs are a little bit different for me so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to I really wanted to complete the run it's run the seasons two runs of well one run has already happened this is going to be the second run of the season like runs and there's four runs in total so there's one run which will be in the new year i think it's like a week or two before i run the london marathon and then there's a summer run which that sounds like it's going to be such a nice experience like post marathon and i can just do it and enjoy it and not really think about like doing it well or performing well the one next time will be a bit more important it's a 10 mile run so it will be probably part of my running plan for that week i'm gonna enter it i'm gonna do it just because it's a good experience and it's you know so close to the london marathon like it will be silly not to it's also really nice to like do a run when you would be doing a run but win a medal <laughs> i just love the medal experience and like you feel so great afterwards luckily i'm running with a friend and it's going to be really nice just to go and just enjoy the run like not think about running to speed necessarily like i could do it but in my head i'm thinking look it's winter it's a few weeks before christmas it's just something fun to do before you start your marathon plan like properly so I'm gonna do that and I'm really excited for it. So I'm doing that today. I'm also getting a few things done like prepping over this weekend because next week is super chaotic and uploading daily is proving interesting for those busier days. So I'm just trying to get myself together. For example, today I will need to sort of hurry off in maybe the next half an hour after I've had my breakfast and crack on with the edit and get my video scheduled for today's upload because I will be out for the rest of the day and the evening. So that's the plan. Um, I'm looking very, very fresh faced as per usual. I've got my morning coffee and my favorite mugs. These are like a mug stack. They're actually, they were from Paper Chase and I'm so sad Paper Chase is gone, um, but they're like a stack of three or four mugs and I love them so much. Oh, when I tell you the simple pleasures in life make me the happiest, I love my morning coffee ritual. Like I adore it so much and it's just part of everything for me. Like it literally, if I don't get to do my morning coffee experience, it's just not the same kind of day. So I'm just enjoying my coffee, really. I've also got a cup of tea, a cup of peppermint tea. This is what I mean, I'm addicted to hot drinks. I've got a cup of peppermint tea. I've got a crumpet, which is nice for brekkie, with a banana and some honey and some cinnamon. And then, this is really random, but I feel like I'm not gonna get a chance to have it um, today. And I've got, 
<laughs> I've got a protein shake. So I've got my, my protein. I always go for the pineapple and grapefruit. It's like my favorite one. And this tiny shaker, this shaker is from Tiger. It's the best shaker in my opinion. Like it's my absolute favorite shaker and it costs like two or three pounds. I'm also sitting here and as part of my morning ritual, going through my daily gratitudes, writing my 10 morning gratitudes. Just, it makes me feel so good and just realigns me if I'm feeling like I'm having a bit of a slower morning because I'm not gonna lie, I woke up with quite a bad headache and it almost felt like a hangover, but I literally had a single shot of gin last night over dinner. Like, that is it. And I'm thinking that can't possibly have done it because also, touch wood, I've never got a hangover from gin. Um, so I was kind of wondering what on earth it could be. And the only thing I can think is maybe that the house is very warm and it's cold outside and I feel like my body was maybe just like trying to regulate itself i'm not quite sure but anyway i'm i've managed to do a six minute clip guys i'm not really sure how i how i am able to do this sometimes and just talk for six whole minutes um but yeah today's vlog is going to be very very fun i really hope you enjoy it i hope i can get some clips i'm thinking most likely i'm gonna have to get clips on my phone because it's going to be a bit tricky to film with this camera but this camera does pick up really well in the dark so i'm kind of considering it but i don't know whether i'll be allowed to take it or use it i'm not really sure some races are really strict like my last race my first ever um like race that i ran because i've done race for life but walked those um my first ever running race was the barnes green 10k and you weren't allowed any headphones unless they were the ones that sit on your um like ear bone so i ran that 10k with no music on and i didn't realize how much i need a bit of tempo to get me through so i need to basically purchase a pair but anyway i'm gonna have my breakfast i've also got to clean my car because it's so muddy and messy i just want to give it a hoover and like a spruce and like clean all the console and everything just make it look really nice um because it's just good to keep your car clean. And yeah, I'm gonna do that and then get ready, head out the door. Can't believe it, I need to get myself together because I just know this day is going to go so quickly. Hey guys, so I'm about to leave now for um, the race. I mean, it's a bit later on, but we've got to get there so early. Um, I hope I look okay, because I just feel a little bit disheveled today. Um, dressed all in blue, full outfit is blue, even my hockers. So I've got my hocker Bondi, uh, are these Bondi 8s? I think these are Bondi 8s. I've got my Do You Even set on. I've got a sports bra, a blue sports bra, underneath my Do You Even top, just for that extra support. And then just this Boohoo, um, like, slimline fitted jacket. This is what I featured in the haul. I really like it because it's got the armholes as well. I'm sorry I'm not really showing you, like, a proper OOTD, but today has been manic. My car, however is spotless and i'm so happy um so that's made me feel good but i'm off now and i'll try and see how much of this whole experience i can vlog because i don't know i feel like i'm going to be a bit like excited and nervous and whatnot but i might transfer over to my phone so you might see like a slight change and everything but hopefully it should all be fine and we'll have a proper debrief afterwards which will be lovely and yeah, I've got all my gels ready to go. I only need one really beforehand, but just wanted the option in case I fancied a different flavour. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's smash it, and yeah, let's enjoy the evening. And uh, we are so looking forward to the second of the Run the Seasons races here at Calgary Park. 
Good morning guys, so I realised I didn't end yesterday's video, I'm about to start today's vlogmas so you'll be seeing this get up twice, um, but I just wanted to finish the video for the upload that you're currently seeing and just say thank you so much for watching. I did complete the Cowdery 10k, it was a mission, I'm not gonna lie, and tested me at times like it was really weird like for some reason i just really got in my head about it and was really doubting myself i don't really understand why because i run 10k like or like close to 10k every week and i just my brain was like nope you can't do it this is hard this is difficult and i did <laughs> i stacked it at one point guys like it was a mixture of like different terrain like absolute mud like slip and slide mud and weirdly that's not where I fell over I tripped over on this pit of pathway that I run all the time and I don't understand how I managed to trip so badly and I fell and injured my knee but I got back up <laughs> I got back up and I continued and I'm glad that I persevered but honestly it was the most humbling experience it's made me realize I need to train much harder like much harder one run a week is not gonna cut the mustard like up until the new year like i need to be running like at least three times a week so i'm gonna be putting that out there so i can be held accountable because if you're not seeing three runs of me during vlogmas per week you know i'm slacking so help me stay accountable um I would show you my knee. I mean, I probably could. This is so awful. Um, I wouldn't normally show an injury. You guys are on like a tripod, so I'm gonna like bring you right down and show you how bad this is. I like fully stacked it. I mean, you probably can't see the bruising, but I scuffed my knee quite bad. And this isn't even the worst part, guys. I managed to rip my favorite Do You Even Leggings. <laughs> oh. The heartbreak that that was the thing that actually i was upset about because they don't make these leggings anymore and the material is like the best thing and the color i was devastated i was devastated but we live we learn we move on if i've stacked it on this race it means that i can't possibly stack it any more times like i've i've had my trip and fall over moment <laughs> during running training because luckily i've not had any injuries so far touch wood i don't want to jinx any more issues but that was a humbling experience and it was really funny as well because when i got to the finish line oh my gosh i went and we had like mulled wine afterwards and like mulled cider and i said something about falling over and these two women were like oh my god it was you that fell over because of so many people oh god i just i wish the ground had swallowed me up there and then it was like it was so embarrassing but it was so funny at the same time like you've just got to laugh at yourself because if you don't laugh you'll cry um as we know we we know that famous phrase but i just want to end off the vlog now i'm going to start a new vlog it's currently Sunday today and the chaos is chaosing. Um, so I'll end this one and then you'll see me tomorrow for another video. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I will speak to you soon.